name is Abriana, also known as Black Girl Writing, and this is a channel where we are on the journey to becoming published. So in today's video or vlog, um, I'm going to be uh, just starting my first chapter. Actually, not starting my first chapter. I'll be revising it. I, I'm in the middle of a master class right now. I'm going to put the name of who it is uh, in the video I, I can't think of it but I really like his master class so far I've only done like the first bookmark lessons and I was just like you know what screw it let me just start writing this first chapter I haven't finished my um nine block 27 um chapters outline but I was like you know what I got the first half done so if I get the first half done do the first act chapters and then I'll just move on second act and third act so I feel like that'll be good so right now I'm about to go to Starbucks. It's also a, like also it's also a like write a thon going on today. I didn't know, but Kate Cavanaugh said that on her video. So if Kate Cavanaugh says it, it means it's happening. So it's about 8:20. I'm gonna go get some Starbucks. I'm gonna come back um and start writing. I really don't know how I want to write this, but or how I want to finish it. But it's it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. All right. Bye. <laughs> Yes, you? Hi, can I have uh, two butter croissants toasted? And then can I have ooh, do, 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 do. a vanilla chai with extra shots of vanilla? What size? Can I have a tall? Ooh, my birthday gift card just made it by $10. <laughs> Morning. Alright, at a 10? Yeah. You can just keep the gift card. I don't think it's oh, recharging. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there's those for you. Thank you. And then there's that for you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. You too. Um, I'm taking um, Malcolm Gladwell's class. He's teaching writing, and I ain't gonna lie, I've never read any of his books. Um, don't even know what he writes, like what category he writes in. But I figure I can only benefit from taking all of these master classes from different artists and just taking what you know they say about their work. And so for what um, Malcolm said, he said, which is really cool to me, he was like, don't finish the puzzle. He was like, it's okay to leave your readers guessing without an answer because then they have to do the work themselves. And when that comes into play, you know, they do more research, you kind of pass it on to them. And at first I was like, I don't know, I like reading books where I know the ending and I have like a resolve about it. But when I read a book that I don't know what the hell is happening, I do go out and do the research myself because I'm like, well, now I'm interested. Like when I started reading the Poppy War series by R.F. Kuang, I had no idea about like the rape of Nanking, um, China and Japan. I didn't know nothing about that. 
why would I know nothing about that? I know nothing about that. So when I started reading that series and I saw that it was like, you know, based off of a true story and well, not well, based off a true story, but also her grandparents were telling and her dad's were telling. I'm just like, no, I just want to know more. And then I learned about the, the author Iris, I'm forgetting her last name, who actually wrote the book, The Rape of Man King. And I went, I'm going to get that because I'm just like, I'm still very curious about it. Um, so yeah. It's okay to not give your readers the answers right away, if at all. You don't have to finish the puzzle, which he says leaves an aftertaste in their mouth. And I kind of like that. Like, I like the idea of my readers still like, what the hell could have happened if this or that? So... Yeah, so this is the master class I'm taking right now. I've only done two of his lessons. His third lesson is holding readers, tools for engagement. Um, so yeah, I don't think he has one about writing the first chapter. Like I said, I'm writing the first chapter right now and I find myself always <laughs> struggling to write the first chapter. It's just, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. But I've gotten, let's, for the record, I have gotten 1,681 words out of my 50,000 word goal. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I got I got the first 1,666, which is most important, which is a chapter. That's all you got to write for NaNoWriMo, but it's not finished. And what I've been learning about the books that I do like, um, in the book, um, that I'm reading, well, I'm rereading because I like the way she structured her chapters. Um, Jordan E. Freckles, um, um, Ray Bearer. Her chapters are kind of like short and sweet, but they, they keep it, everything flowing. You know what's happening in the chapters, everything's explained, and I kind of like that. And it, it kept me reading, and I'm like, I kind of want to tweak my chapters like that, but I also know this is only going to be the first draft, so it's not going to be important. So I'm kind of just writing things down to get the words. And then my goal is, knock on wood, which might not happen, um, July's NaNoWriMo, I want to redraft um, this novel, which I'm now dubbing Seat of the Soul. So, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this vlog. I'm having some epiphanies while I'm finishing up this first chapter. And the, um, my, um, alchemist. I feel like I need to do a character sheet on him to dig him out a little bit more because I feel like he's gonna tie in with one of the crown council members. And, you know, I feel like when I, when I sniff him out more, 
writing the chapters, finishing this chapter, which he's in in the first chapter with um, Mandy's, it will be, it will hit a lot harder because I'll know and then I won't feel like I'm like grabbing at the air to try to figure out what to tell him what to say, you know? So yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, sub sub subscribe, share if you care, and I'll be back with another one real soon. And tell me how writing your first chapter is going.